Married? No, not yet. Would you say you're polygamous by nature? I think to an extent, if all men tapped into like their real desires, yeah. And if they could have the power, not all men, lots of men, if they could tap into their desires, they would actually go for that. But the thing is, lots of men cannot do that because they're not strong enough or powerful enough, right? But if you look at kings of old, for example, some of these kings had 500 girls or harems, right? I'm not saying that that's Islamically right. You know, obviously we have our own take on that, but as far as I'm aware, I'm, I'm not the best at Muslim knowledge. I do have quite a bit there. But as far as I'm aware, it's up to four, and that's open to debate, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if, if you if you were really strong and you had a lot of money, and that's why lots of, the, for example, these Arab guys do it, right? Yeah. They're Islamic, they're religious, but they can do it, and they do it. When there's, they, there's, a lot of people, there's a lot of men who don't have the money to do it as well, but yeah. are you polygamous by nature? Meaning, that, think, would you say, would you agree that most men are polygamous by their nature? That yeah. if they could, they would have a second or third wife or fourth wife? Yeah, so... Am I right or wrong saying that? I would say you're right, and I'm a big fan of biology. People ignore biology and people ignore science, but I think science and religion can go hand in hand. And the reality is, you know, like I'm, I'm going to be very crude. Men like to spread their seed, right? They like to have lots of children okay. when possible and if possible. Yeah. And that might, Genghis Khan, for example, yeah. he, he had 12,000 women, right? And 12,000? Yeah, and that, that a, a, any animal in the animal kingdom, we're not animals, right? But obviously, we're part of nature and we have very similar tendencies, right? And in line with that, lots of men would love to have lots of children by lots of different women to differentiate the genetic pool. And this is factual based on scientific evidence. But again, it's just that lots of men can't because it costs a lot to manage a wife. Okay, okay look, can't and yeah. won't are two separate discussions, yeah? yeah. Every man yeah. would want to. Yeah. They would not say, I won't or I wouldn't do it. I think there's it's a very I, rare man. It's, 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 I can't. Yeah, look, look, there's exceptions yeah. to the Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree, I agree. Majority of men yeah. are polygamous by nature. Yeah. Now, you, if a woman's watching this, if she just came and said, oh, you're a misogynist, yeah. or etc. Why are men polygamous? Where does this come from? Well, if she, and, yeah. if she was to say, you're a misogynist, I think, that's just an emotional response. It's very easy to label someone something yeah. very quickly. Yeah. And the bar to call someone a misogynist is very low these days, yeah. right? But again, going back to the why, you see a burger, yeah. you start salivating, you feel hungry. Why could oh, they have- You're creating women to burgers no, now. No, 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 no. <laughs> or anything, anything. Let's say fresh air. If you yeah, were, yeah. didn't have fresh air for a long time, yeah. you would crave it because that's our natural human instinct. Yeah. Women tend to like one guy, yeah, they're, it's, monog they're, monogamous they're more, they're a lot more. Well, it, it depends on the circumstances, right? If you break it down. So, for ex these days in the Western world, women are cheating as much as men, if not more, and that is a fact. They're what? They're cheating more than men. Why is that? Official studies, by the way. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. the reason is, one, it's very easy. There's yeah. things like no fault divorce, yeah. right? There's things like dating apps and Instagram, right? Yeah. Even Muzmatch, you know, allows things like that. Back in the day. If you were someone's wife, you were under hijab, you were in his house, you would not leave un without his permission. I'm not saying that that's the optimal scenario religiously, but that's just how the world was, was right? These days, if your wife has Instagram, I'm sorry to say, there's lots of people sliding into her DMs and they're better than you. They can offer her more money than you. Mm. And under those circumstances, women are not mono, 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 monogamous yeah. at the same time. They so, are, I have a theory. Yes. I believe women are still monogamous by nature. Yeah. The reason they are becoming polyg polygamous yeah. is the following reason. It's a theory. Yeah. And I believe it's quite a strong theory. If anyone can debunk me, please come ahead. Go yeah. ahead. When men are polygamous, what happens is usually, so let's imagine, a man yep. and a woman. They're in a relationship, yeah? Outside, let's not put Islam, a non-Muslim. Yep. That guy is there for one reason. Yeah. She thinks he loves her. He yeah. doesn't. Yeah. He's there for one reason. Once he gets what he wants, he says, you know what? I don't think we're compatible. A lot of arguments happen. He breaks the he breaks the relationship up. Yeah. She is under the assumption of what? I was in a relationship and we was not comp compatible, so he moved on. Yeah. She meets another guy. Yeah. The guy has the same agenda. Yeah. She meets another guy. The guy has the same agenda. Yeah. By now she's got three body counts. Yeah. And it's going up. Yeah. What she doesn't realize is that because she sees men acting in that way, yep. then they start rebelling and saying men are trash. Yep. Why are men trash? Because you have made yourself so accessible so easily no. that men, are, there's no responsibility. I can just go ask you out, take you on a first yep. date, couple of days, 
and have what I want. So why on earth would I stay with you or be committed to you? Yeah. So therefore, men, the woman's body count are quite not as bad as a man's, but I believe it stems from this because yeah. women are monogamous by, monogamous by nature and they are looking for that Romeo and they realize every Romeo they come across is not Romeo but a fraud. So therefore, what they're doing is they're thinking, you know what, I've had four body counts and all of these men have come and used me. I'm going to become a excuse my language, a HOE. Yep. So therefore, I'm going to go do what they're doing. But what they don't understand is that the more you do that, the more your pair bonding reduces. Because yep. yep. when women have intimacy, they release a hormone called yep. oxytocin, yeah? yep. which, is, which helps pair bonding. Yep. And studies show that women who have one partner have or one... Yeah, sure, you can have one. So a woman who has who is married, who is a virgin, has 80% more likely to have a relationship lasting more than a decade. Yep. So what women don't understand is that the way men sleeping around, and by the way, it's both haram in Islam. Yes. They're both, it's capital, it's, it's capital punishment, yeah, don't yep. get twisted. Yep. Yep. But you, the reason you're doing that, you are shooting yourself on the feet. It yep. doesn't affect the man as much because in his biology and the way he's programmed, he can have multiple wives. Yep. So the point I'm trying to say is, I believe it stems from there. You know what? I agree with you a lot, a lot. In fact, almost like 98%. The, the only thing is, firstly, yeah, is firstly a lot of people aren't very smart yeah in society and the way i think we need to understand the underlying principles of why things are you know people take a religious side and i'll give you a small example every girl when she marries these days she says we were created in pairs that's like a catchphrase these days yes. yeah it's on focus it's on, it's on wedding cards it's on wedding cakes everywhere so yeah? and she will have had lots of guys and she's gonna say this new guy, guy number 134, yeah. is my new soulmate. That's not how it works. And that that ayah doesn't even necessarily mean that. For example, Which we were and we created you in pairs, okay, right? Yes. The, I think the Quran is very poetic. It is very metaphorical. It does not necessarily mean that. Okay, and it does not mean that there was some special soulmate created for you. Soulmate myth is romanticism, but that's an example of how societal conditioning- Pairs can mean male and female. No, it, as in it could, it could literally be referring to chromosomes. It could be- uh, No, it can. They can even be, refer to a man and a woman. They're yeah, pairs. yeah. What as in- mean it's it's Because otherwise you've got the marrying two, threes and fours. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't contradict that or doesn't it abrogate yeah, it? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean there's one special guy out there yeah. for you, right? Yeah. And vice versa. But the point is- Not that there might be, but that the, one special guy can also be special for other woman as well because by getting married again you know you know here's an interesting so fact it can be special for a couple of women here's an interesting fact it. more people believe in a soulmate myth yes than god yeah okay. like in the western world okay. official studies again interesting. and a lot of these things are official studies but we listen to societal messaging okay. i'll give another example of societal messaging the the body positivity movement <laughs> I, I'm giving advice to a girl on how to get married. She's very overweight and I told her to lose weight in a very respectful and nice way. Yeah. I told that to some girl yeah. I went to meet for a rista. Yeah. She was like, you should tell her to just love herself. That is complete BS. I can, if she, no matter how much she loves herself, she cannot get a guy by staying fat and loving herself a lot. That's just not how reality works. Next time you visit this rishta, tell her that yeah. next time she meets a guy for marriage, if he's five foot four, yeah, exactly. And she, tells, she tells him, oh, I think you're a bit short for me. Yep. Tell him to love himself too. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of double standards out there. Some are, some are wrong and some are right. And one thing is men hate hoes. It's a fact. No one will say this to you. Sorry? Men hate hoes. Oh, sorry, okay. So men, men do not like women yeah. that have slept around a lot. And again, that is rooted in biology. Yes. Because that would put the risk of paternity. Uh, yes. It would increase the risk of paternity, right? So, for example, if yeah. if a girl's been with ten guys, yeah. biologically, you're like, there's a good chance that's not my kid. I should not invest in her. I do not like her. Your feelings of love and romance do not come. Exactly. One of the quickest ways to turn a guy off is to be a hoe, right? And that is a fact of life. A guy sleeping around and a girl sleeping around in a practical sense has yeah. very big differences. It is both a sin. Both a sin. Let's, let's make it very clear. Yeah. We're both? Not saying, what we're saying is that biologically and the way Allah created us, yeah. one has a greater impact on the uh, on, on, on females than the males. This doesn't yeah. mean that the sin is not the sin. Yeah. And by the way, just to make it clear that the ayah in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa talks about that chase women are for chase men is not talking about virgin girls. If a woman genuinely repents, she has a right to ask for a virgin guy in Islam. Just to make that clear. She she has a right, but I'm going to say something. She doesn't have the same ability. That So okay, maybe. If, 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 you, you that, if, if you've been with 20 guys and you've man, man, magically turned religious, and this, is, this happens a lot, and the reason is girls realize their mistakes. 
but your your emotional tendencies yes. are going to be worsened yes. if you tell someone honestly yeah. that you've been with 20 guys and you tell them that you've changed religiously we would advise of, not to lots of guys yes. will not put up with that yes. right because if why so though why okay let me ask you a question Maybe biology why is it okay for a man to sleep around but when it comes to a woman, it's not the same. Why does a man reject her? There, there are lots of, again, it all goes back to biology. As a woman, yeah. it's very easy to sleep around. As a guy, it requires a lot of skill, money, okay, looks, health, etc. But that's not even a base reason. The reason is men don't get pregnant. So women get pregnant. So if she's sleeping around with 20 guys, what's the chances of you being the father of that child? 5%. If you're sleeping around with lots of girls, the, yeah, I'm, I'm just giving an you example. Know who the father is and you know who the but, but again, it, it is. It comes down to biology. I'll give a small example of biology. People respect a strong physical man. That doesn't necessarily have much I mean, to do I, with religion. I don't think you should talk about me. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> but as in, if yeah. you were if you were to see a guy who's six foot six and has huge muscles, yeah. you will not get rude to him. That has nothing to do with religion. Well, exactly. But that's in a woman's nature. She's hypergamous by nature, so she yeah. looks for. See, 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 the thing is very interesting. We accept the woman the way they are. They're yeah. hypergamous by nature. They look for a man who is Better tall, than. strong, leader, provides, protects. Yeah. But then when it comes to our nature of being polygamous, we get, we get shamed. No, when it's when it's like okay, I'm polygamous by nature, and um, for example, I believe every man is polygamous by nature. We're blamed for it. The same goes with fat shaming. If I went to a girl and I said, you know what, I think you should lose a bit of weight in a respectful way, and be like, yeah. you know what, yeah. I'll be like, how dare you say that to her? Yeah. But if she's she can be the same girl that comes and says, I want a guy that's below six foot two. Yeah. So the thing is, why is it double standards? Why is it when it comes two to reasons. a woman's weight? Because yeah. you can control your weight. I can't control my height. I think there's two reasons. One is women are more emotional, right? It's, it's true. Are you being misogynist now? No, it is true. It is absolute fact. Men go to war, they fight their emotions, and they go to war. They, they Bullets flying by, and you will still charge to the front line if you believe in the cause. Yes. A woman cannot do that to the same extent. Some women there's can. There's exceptions to the rule. There's exceptions to the rule. So if you... I went LSC, so I'm, I'm kind of smart, yeah? yeah? But if you look at like normal distributions, the normal distribution for male bravery is way higher than female bravery. True. It's just how it is. Of, of course, you might get exceptions. True. So when a woman hears you need to lose weight, she takes that personally, she gets more emotional. When I hear that, I'm a bit chubby nowadays, I'll be like, okay, you, you know what? I, I need to go to the gym. Yeah. It's as simple as that. I get told that's how it is. I have to do it. I'm a doer. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to try be a talker or go like, oh no, you know what? You shouldn't have that preference. That's your preference. Okay. And that's how it works. So that's thing number one. And the second thing is the sisterhood. Okay. The sisterhood, feminism. It's an echo chamber. Yeah. All these I think girls. I think it's a cancer. All, all these girls telling each other, just accept yourself. Just love yourself. It's, it's not good. Yeah, we, now feminism is so strong. We have somehow convinced fashion outlets to put pictures of big beautiful women. I'm not saying that's allowed or whatever. Obviously it's around. You shouldn't have pictures out there in society anyways, yeah. in, in a religious sense. But that's told, we, we managed to convince, the sisterhood has managed to convince some people that big is beautiful these days. No, 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 Complete BS. No, 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 I disagree with you. It can yep. be, yep. because you need to understand there are different men. Generally, are generally, no, 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 no. generally. Gen gen well, generally, I understand, but there's a yeah. Some women can't control their weight for a variety of health reasons. I, I, no, let's be real, let's be real. There are medical reasons, yeah? Yep. Okay, so that can happen, but I understand where you're coming from. There are exceptions to the rule. We don't want our sisters who are watching, some might be yep. overweight. They should work on it, yep. but if they can't, they shouldn't be made to Sorry feel. for being a bit rude. Yeah, no, it's fine, but they shouldn't yep. be made to feel ugly. They might, there is someone yep. for everyone. Just to make that uh, I, I know where you're coming from. I, I know where you're coming from. If you want to increase your marital success in terms of choosing someone, yes. you have to cultivate yourself according to the other gender. Okay. It's just how it is. As a guy, okay. if you're poor and you're, you're fat, yeah. you're not going to get a lot of options. You have to work on yourself to become educated, good looking, have some money, have some assets, be able to provide a good lifestyle, have a sense of leadership. Okay. On the female side, it's the same. If, if all men no, go... It's not the same. Because we don't look... I don't, when I look for a potential, I, I don't care how much money she makes. Yeah, uh, no, 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 I was, I was going to say, it's okay. the same logic in the sense that you have to improve. Okay. So if a guy wants a, a feminine woman, yeah. if a guy wants a girl who's not a hoe, yeah. yeah. if a guy wants a girl who's sweet and smiley, yeah. yeah Whenever some girl asks me, what do you want? I say, I just want a sweet and smiley woman. 
No obedience? We look for obedience. That's so, what we do here. The, we so look we, for a woman who's obedient. And when yeah. I'm in obedient, people get this notion of yeah. like, I go home and I punch you in the face. And agreeable. Say, agreeable. I'm not talking about that. I'm yeah. talking about, for example, as a man, if I come and say, I, I would not like you to go to holiday with your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for example, the way you dress is a bit maybe provocative. Can yeah. you, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I would look for that. And every man looks for that. So yeah. what, it's, it's, it's okay because at the end of the day, that's what I look for. Yeah. But some woman will say, well, hold on a second. Who are you to give those rules? Yeah. But you're the same woman who within your nature, you look for a guy who's taller, yeah. protector, provider, you look for these things. I don't blame yeah. you for that, but you're blaming me for the things yeah. that I look for. Yeah. You know what, I'll tell you guys a quick story, yeah? So the internet is amazing and it's really bad. The, inst in the internet has caused this cancer in many ways, right? Because it's an echo chamber, people can share lots of messages really quick. Yeah. And we all have a confirmation bias where we look at things that align with our views yeah. and we go like, you know what, this is right. This person is 100% right, but that's just because we think we're right, right? Yeah. So back in the day, I used to be a very like romantic person. I used to think women are all sweet, nice, and everything spice or whatever the phrase is. Did, 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 did someone hurt you? See, see, that's I'll the thing. Honest, that's the thing that that gets brought up. The first phrase that gets yes. thrown at you. Yes. Did someone hurt you? Yes. Did the answer is yes, and the reason is yeah. that's what helps you learn. Yes, but let me tell you. Yes. I, I, I will tell you. I was yep. like before Islam. Yep. I lived at Jahiliya, two decades of Jahiliya, yeah? yeah. Yeah. There was a time in my life where, for example, some girls hurt me. Yep. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yep. And I yep. didn't look the way I looked or was in the path. Do you know what I'm yeah, trying yeah, to say? Yeah, yeah. So course. I did. The reason I'm asking it is because sometimes what happens is you can use it in a healthy way and yep. channel that energy yep. into making yourself a better man. And that's what you have to do. 100%. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So it's understandable. But again, these the reason I'm asking you that is because these women get upset and they are the same women who have caused, for example, when you was a good guy, yeah, yeah when, like say the good guys finish last, etc. They didn't want to know you. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So they it's like they cause that spiral yeah. and then when they make a man, like and I believe Andrew Tate is a part of that. I believe he was hurt when he was young. I, and the, now he's I, I don't think you have to get hurt, right? It's it's just seeing reality for what it is. I'll give an example. If you get rejected by an assessment center, like an interview or something, yes. you don't have to get hurt, but you learn from yes, it. Learn Next from time, better. the chances of you doing that successfully is a lot higher. Yes. It's all it is. You just have to learn from whatever your experiences are, what your mistakes are. Any, any endeavor in life, you mess up, you learn. Yes. You fail at a business, you mess up, you learn. Yes. You fail at squatting, right? You're failing at 100 kgs, you go again and you learn, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean you have to get hurt. Yeah. But all it is, is we, we come, Especially when we're younger, we uh, we have lots of social conditioning around us. Oh, buy her flowers. Oh, take her to a two hundred pound date, whatever. And then one day, one day, mad about thirty, forty pounds max. Do you realise that doesn't even work? Mad. That doesn't even work. It's what? About, it's about who's taking you on a date. It, see, and it's nuances. It's a small. It does work, but after a certain point, uh, after a certain point in time. My, I'm joking. <laughs> you, well, one thing, for example, yeah, I learned that. At the start, it doesn't matter about how much money you have. At the start, it's about how, how much of a good leader you are. And then the money uh, thing okay, kicks okay, in. Okay. But girls, girls do look like, and generally they look at money. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. And let's benefit for us. Like if it's I, to get your foot like, in the door. For example, like me, like I love my wife. Yeah, I believe she's the most beautiful woman on this planet. Yeah. yeah. If she was, if her job was, Collecting like dustbin, for example. Yeah, I wouldn't care. I don't care. I would not care. But for, for a woman, it's not the same. What? If you was collecting dustbin, to, to right, all the sisters watching she, at home, best believe she's telling her friends, "Hey, my 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 uh, husband to be is a dustbin collector." To she all the it. sisters, <laughs> believe our words. To all the sisters watching at home, we do not care if you work at McDonald's. So all the sisters that said no to him. No, 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 no. Where he is now? No, 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 no. <laughs> what, what we care about, what we care about, is you being smiley, agreeable, exactly, and not handsome like this guy, and not being Andrew take glasses, and, and not being not being a hatred. E, right? Yes. Um, and but what about men? Why when men do it they get away with it? This is the, this is what sis is going to be asking. Why is it why when men do it they get away with it? Because we don't get impacted the same way. It's, Biological. It's, it's, it's a fact. It's a fact. Yeah? yeah. At the end of the day, again, this doesn't mean because in the sight of Allah, you commit a sin. You're a man or a woman. You die on it. Who for you? Oh, you're in Islamic state. Yes. Madness. Man getting lashed like his happy days. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Slash slash. Yeah. Okay. It is, it's peak, you get me? There, there's so, official studies so, so there are done on this. That doesn't depreciate in Islam. Yep. The, the impact might affect a woman more, but in the Sharia, if you get caught, man's getting lashed nice. Yeah. In, in Islam, obviously, obviously, they're both huge sins, male or woman. Or maybe alcohol. But yeah, on, a, on, a, on a scientific level, there's studies. A woman sleeping with three men is equivalent to a man sleeping to 60 women in terms of emotional impact. Obviously, that is difficult to measure. Um, but that's just what no, one no, study says, no, and, and, and we, that, that is an insight. Yes, yes. When it comes to pair bonding, like we said before, a woman, woman uh, release oxytocin, which, is, which helps to pair bonding. And the more intimate partner she has, it's like a knife going numb. It doesn't yep. work. Uh, not numb. Um, 
blunt, blunt, yep. and blunt, yeah? Yep. It doesn't do the job anymore. And that is the reason why women tend to, when they're in these marriages or things, they do not know how to love anymore. Yep. They don't know, and it has a great impact on it. I mean, that's it. I mean, the Muslim, I mean, you're better than Andrew Tate, but one Andrew Tate, you get me? So what should we call you? What's your name? Moment. Huh? Moment. 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 Marshall. Where's that Moment? Thank you. Get me. Inshallah, may Allah make you a Moment. Any last Allah. points you want to give? You know, if this sister want to marry you, you know, you know, how should they approach you? And maybe you have to speak to them. Wally, the father, of course. Yes. Yes. Yeah? So tell us a bit about yourself. Maybe somebody wants sisters, to marry you. Sisters. Sisters out there. How tall are you? I'm six foot. Six foot one with shoes on. Sisters I'm out six, there. I'm six two. You're, you're amazing, man. Okay. Well, si well, si yeah. si sisters out there. How old are you? I'm 23. 23, mashallah, yeah. you're young. Yeah. yeah. Sisters out there, genuinely. Five genuinely. Not, not, tense, not yet. Tense, not yet. It's, not, it's, not, it's not amazing yet. One day. One day, one day, one day. But no, genuinely, sisters out there. Yeah. Stop relying on your instincts. Stop relying on the internet. And feminism. And feminism. And stop relying on your friends. Yes. Right? Follow your dad. Genuinely. No, and no, I think Islam. I think I think I think follow Islam, I follow Islam yeah. but I think you know it in, in Islam, yes. we have the system of the wali or the brother. Or yes. Your dad wants the best for you. Your dad is not your enemy. My yes. sister got married. Alhamdulillah, she's in a great marriage. The reason is, one, she didn't, she never put herself out there too much. So she never got that much male attention. Now when she's with her husband and her husband gives her attention, yes. it's amazing. It's amazing. So a woman's beauty is in protection. She, sh she should be she protected. She wants to be protected by her nature. She yeah. wants to be protected. Yes. A, a, a woman that is protected by her father, by her brother, whatever. And then, uh, then transferred to her husband? Yes. yes. Is something we really value. We are looking for that woman who's yes. been protected from all this weird not, social not conditioning. We, we want a woman to protect. I'll, I'll give an example. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a do decent job. You know, I have lots of money stored away in investments and oh, stuff. Is it now? But, okay. but I'm, I'm gonna, how many wives do you want? I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be arrogant. Listen, yeah, listen, but listen, how many wives do you want? Be honest. I think I'll, if I get really rich, I'll maybe be able to afford two. But for now, it's just one. It's just one. I think that's, 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 that's good. It's in halal way. Yeah. And you're going to do it in the right way. You're not going to have a side chick or a mistress, but, mistress or a I, girlfriend. I, I, you're going to do it in the right way. I, I was going to give an example, yeah. I, I lots lots of lots of student girls yes. can outspend me. They're going to Hakkasan. You know, it goes with hijab on and everything. It's student loan money, you know. Yeah. They just get money thrown at them. They have not even worked a day in their life. They get money thrown at them. But, but it's, it's I, like that. It's easy for a woman. All you have to do is wear makeup. You, you have a head start. Yeah. You have a head yes, start. You do, you do. You do. And if you abuse it, yes. right, yes. it's going to catch up to you. Yes. And all, honestly, I think, you know, the, the career myth is a bit of a lie. Yeah, like, you know, everyone. Yes. I'm there, a guy, I don't even was, like my bruv, career. Bruv, there was a study done, this book here, it's called yep. Miss Education of Women, yeah? Yep. There was a study done of 100,000 men and women in UK and USA over 30 years. Yep. They found out that women are less happier. Yep. Since the rise exactly. of feminism, yeah? What does that show you? Women prefer, bro, not to work. They don't want to work, bro, yeah? No, I don't want to work. The only reason, no, you have to work, bro. Yeah. I, you, I have, you have to work. You have to but yes. provide and protect, yeah? yeah? The point is this. You've been sold the massive lie of a career woman. You're going to reach the age of 30, 35, where you cannot have kids anymore because you're not as fertile as you was when you were young. Yep. And now it's harder to find somebody. And on top of that, this whole notion of career, your career is not going to be there. Don't fall for this massive lie. Buy this book. Yep. I, I recommend two books for the sisters, Beauty Sick and James Toomey, The Miseducation of Women. It really exposes that anytime you look for solutions outside the Quran and the Sunnah, you're bound to suffer. And now we are seeing men go into red pill. You're going to suffer as well. Yeah, you're going to suffer. Trying to be Andrew Tate, bro. Who the hell is Andrew Tate? He's a no value man. I've said this before. The guy is a no value man. To a Muslim man, he's got nothing to offer. He commits, he commits shit. Yeah, he's, he's the worst of the worst. Unless he accepts Islam and repents, you know, he might be a bit better than us. So, I think that's it. Yeah, Thank you, bro. Inshallah. If you get married, call me to your nikah. <laughs> yeah, make sure there's lobster in the uh, wedding, please, yeah? Inshallah, okay, inshallah. Uh, Until next time, for uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.